Okay, so this video is to support you if you're finding it tricky to generate your own maze game. So if you go back to the, less, um, the maze game that we had a look at at the beginning of the lesson, and you can find the link to this on the blog, you'll see that there's a button at the top that says see inside. If we click on this here, you can see all of the different commands which have been used to generate the maze game. So you can magpie the commands from here to help you to generate your own maze game. So what you'll notice is when I move the sprite, so here, when I'm pressing the right arrow, you can see that the command that is being used is flashing. You'll also see that my sprite is bouncing off red rectangle, which has been used in the backdrop. And we can see again that this command is highlighted as this is the one that is currently in play. If I turned and pressed the down arrow, you'll see that this command has now been highlighted. If I play the maze game and I aim to move my sprite from one end of the backdrop, you'll see that the different commands are lighting up as I am using them. And then finally, when I manage to reach the end, you'll see that I've got this one here. So I've got, well done, you did it. So if you're finding it tricky to find different commands to make your sprite move in the way that you would like them to, then have a little look at the commands that are used in the original maze game. This will help support you with your activity today. If you have any questions or want to share your sprite games with me or Miss Gallagher, then our email addresses can be found on our class pages.